Hey guys, <clears throat> hold on, I'm going to turn up my light here, so I don't blind the camera here. Uh, <clears throat> how y'all doing today? Hope y'all doing good. We got me and my dog here, kerosene heater, check this out. Keep it nice and toasty. So warm. There's my little sign up there. I don't know if y'all can read that or not. Uh, it's probably backwards because camera. With a Corvette up there. <laughs> I, I think that's a C, C7, I think. I think that's a C7 Corvette. I'd take a C7, but I'd, I'd like a C8, or even a C6. I'd take a C6. Well, I'll tell you what, a C7 Stingray. I'd take that. All right, look. Hey, wait, wait. Hey, no, where you going? Where you going? Look, he getting shy because I'm talking to the camera. Sit. What are you doing? What are you doing? Hey. Hey. Paul. Paul. Shake. Paul. Yeah, boy. Other Paul. Other Paul. Other Paul. Other Paul. Come on. Other Paul. Come on, other Paul. There you go. Good boy. Oh, please. Oh, what? Oh, you want it on the camera? You want it on the camera? Is that what it is? Huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you so cute. What? 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 <laughs> Got that tail wagging a hundred mile an hour. What? 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 Now you ain't wagging your tail? What? He good boy. Good old boy. Yeah, you good boy, man. Nah, good boy. Good boy. Yeah, that tail, that tail wagging now, ain't it? Good boy. Huh. <laughs> He's so silly. Here, lay down. Come on, lay down. Right on. And you stay. Stay. Alright. I'm sure the ladies like this. Now, if only I was that cute. <laughs> oh, come on, lay down, lay down, come on. No, stay, stay, come on. Alright, I, I done got sidetracked, daggone dog. Oh, um, the coronavirus. There are people out there that's, uh, from what I hear from Marfugal TV, or Marfugal News, that, um, I thought it too. Like, is this government conspiracy? Is it really real? But from what he's got on his news, it's it's real. They, they got these people from that area posting videos of the hospitals and what's going on and they're saying don't believe the government it's all on us it's up to us to survive well yeah why would you ever trust the government if you ask me if anybody knows here in america agenda 21 um which is by the way used to be called uh well it was it's agenda 21 but it should have been called Agenda 31 now because they ain't going to complete it in 21, but they think they're going to complete it in 31. Or 30. Agenda 30. No, Agenda 31, I think. So whatever it was. The United Nations, uh, the Council of Foreign Relations, the uh, Trilateral Commission. We all know. We all know what I'm talking about. You got this one world government wanting to what do we call it? population reduction? Pretty much. 
I mean, I think it's ironic to come out with, like, a new disease just about every year. And then they propaganda us. It's coming from one place to another to another. Oh, it's from here. It's, it's, they're the ones that originated. I mean, where is this from? What, what was it? Japan or China? I think it was China. Yeah, China. That's what it was. I'm looking at the daggone news right now. Uh, it's from China. And they're saying that, uh, because they cut up their meats and they cut up, they might cut up a, now this is hypothetical, okay? They cut up fish. We all know they eat fish down there, okay? But then, I don't know what, uh, what other animal or meats they cut up, okay? But hypothetically, I don't know if they got squirrels down there. All I'm saying is they're, they're, they're cutting up different types of meats, different animals. Could be cats and dogs. Come on, we all know that joke. And uh, they're not sanitizing their tables after every cut up. And they're all serving a one meal off of one table. Now, I don't know if they get dishes or not. I don't know. But from where I'm hearing, or what I'm hearing, they're serving different types of meat on a daily basis off the same table without cleaning it to a bunch of people. And then they're saying that's where this... Which don't strike me right. It really don't. That they're getting this virus. Okay? Here's what I don't get. Virus jumps from animal to humans. Okay? Okay, I could possibly see a virus being infected on an animal. And then we consume it. And then there we go. It's... It infects us now i'm not a biologic biologist or whatever you call me i'm not a doctor i'm not into all the physical workings of me and parasites and viruses i go to the doctor for that but i just find it weird i guess because there's so many mixed communications mix i don't know all different types of stuff going around on the, the web, the news, whatever. But they said that this came, like, it came from an animal. But at first, until I, I got on Marfugal News, I didn't know. Well, scratch that. Not just Marfugal News. I also seen a YouTube video of over in China about this guy talking about it. He's been in China, and he knows how they are, and they all how they serve off of one table of different meats, different types of meats, and this is how it got started. But I guess yeah, if you ate an animal that had a virus, it would be in you. So that's how it got started. I could see that. But from other stations down in China or whatever, other media outlets, YouTube outlets, whatever you want to call them, was saying that this, they made it out like that this virus just jumped airborne from animal to humans. They didn't say that they consumed meat. They just made it sound like it was airborne jumping and that's what confused me was because i was like now wait a minute because when we over here in america do experiments on different like uh let's just say chemical war where warfare viral warfare we always do tests on rats pigs things that are close to our Genetics, you know, are, are biological workings. And if you don't... I'm getting off subject here, but... <clears throat> that's where, I, where I'm going also, is... I think that... Okay, back in the day... Think about it. Back in the day, 
There was none of this. None of this. Okay. We all coincided with sheep. We all coincided with uh, pigs. Whatever. Heck, my, grand my mom and my dad used to eat pigs. My grandparents ate pigs. They didn't get sick from any, no virus. They didn't have to worry about it. No virus is nothing. There was none of this. They butchered their pigs. They knew how to somewhat sanitize them and clean them up and take the meat and then how to store it, package it, and then put it in a, in a freezer, deep freeze, so they could eat it for later throughout the week. And that's what they lived off of. They had all kinds of pigs. They had cows. I, heck, I still remember it from today. Going over to my grand, grandparents. And they had an electric fence. They had cattle. They had pigs. I, I, I remember at like five years old. Walking to my grandpa's back in, his, in the field. And I, I, I don't remember where he got the feed. I don't know if he had it in the basement. Or if he went. I think he went to his barn or his other shed that he had. And he had some feed. And he walked up to the pigsty which was a, a fenced-in pig area, and it was in the pond area where the pigs could, you know, cool off in the pond. And and it, he had a, a, a gate, like a, an area, where all the pigs came through, and he had a, I guess you call it a, a, a trough, where he would lay down the food in the trough, and all these pigs, and of course he kept me back behind the fenced area, and then he would go inside and, and feed them, and those pigs would all just run up there, and they'd, and they, they would just start munching, and you could hear them, they'd be, they'd be oinking and snorting, and, and just, oh, they were hungry, you know, they knew when feed time was, and, I just I enjoyed that. I can I can remember that. And it, of course my grandpa's passed away from from now, you know. He's passed away uh probably a little over 5 years ago. He's been gone that long. And I can remember it today and I'm not trying to tear up or nothing. But uh and I don't remember, I think it was just me. I don't remember my sister or my brother being with me. I just remember it was me. And I thought that was the neatest thing. And I asked my grandpa, I was like, these are your pets? And he, <laughs> he laughed a little bit. He said, well, for now. And I was like, we meet for now, you know. And he said, well, there are pets for now. <laughs> And I was like, okay, you know, I didn't think nothing of it till later, after I grew up a little bit. Then they told me that they ended up eating those pigs, and I ate some of them. <laughs> My mom and dad, they ate them. Oh, boy. But, you know, we don't know any better. We, we just, but we, we understand later. That's where food comes from, and that's what they did. And they did it all themselves. They butchered it, they prepared it, and their grandchildren ate it. My parents ate it. And look, we're still alive, because obviously I'm still here. It did nothing to me. It did nothing to my mom and dad, and they're still alive. But that's just how they was raised. That's how they was taught to eat of the land and the land took care of their animals and they made sure they ate what they needed to eat and they never got sick they never called a vet they never if something happened they treated their wounds or something on their own with your everyday household I guess peroxide alcohol whatever they used now, my grandma, she had uh, her own homemade medicine. It wasn't nothing like store-bought. It was like, I don't know, she had different types of 
weeds and uh, I know she had uh, oh it's a, it's a really popular one she had that she always uh, used it fought bacterial infections uh, aloe vera she had that and uh, she used that on a lot of the a lot of times if the pigs would get into it or something and one of them would wound the other she would use the aloe vera which was a a real plant by the way she had several real plants and you just break it off and you just take that that little leaf or whatever it was a stem more like i call it a stem and she would ooze that stuff all over the wound and then she'd bandage it up and infection would go away within a day or two you know it'd start healing and everything was fine but all i'm saying is this whole virus thing that's going on i mean do we really know what's going on i mean what's i just find it ironic that you know now they're wanting to talk about an antivirus Pharmaceutical companies gonna here we go. Pharmaceutical companies want to make money off this. If they can come up with something and make something, I I don't know. There's already been what two cases here in America. We all have our doubts on this. We all are thinking the same thing I'm thinking. Is this real? Or is this just a hoax? Is this fake news? Is this propaganda? Well, we don't know. Marfugal News says it's not. He said he's got the proof. You go on his his website, marfugalnews.com, and look he's got all the tweets before they got deleted. He's got all the um the stuff that you can look at. Now, I know the Bible talks about this, about a, uh, what's the word, the biblical aspect uses of it? Um, dang on it. Starts the P, I think. Oh, gosh. I can't even remember it. Doggone it. Oh, that's going to irritate me. But anyways, you Christians know what I'm talking about. Could it a pandemic? Maybe that's what I'm thinking of. I mean, could this be the world pandemic that they're talking about? I think that's the word. But still, it... I think this is man-made. Just like AIDS is man-made. They, you know, they, they said that uh, it came from a gorilla jumping to men. Or women or whatever. Mankind. No. God made us. We're free of viruses. Made us free of germs and everything. As long as you ate of the earth and lived by the earth. You were good. Your immune system took care of you. And if you did get anything, your immune system learned from it. And then it would go on. But, of course, we all know man... That's why we're not supposed to believe in, in man laws. Because man laws change. God's law does not. It's one set rule and that's it. Kind of like our constitution that they're already trying to change. Again, man's law trying to change the Constitution. That's why we can't bow down to man. We always look up to God. Gave us our un, unalienable rights. And those rights our forefathers knew about, fought for, gave them to us. And we need to fight for that. Because if we don't, then that's our elected officials that we put there in office are going to try to rule us 
And that's what they want, because you know this? That's right, money corrupts people. That right there corrupts us. Get enough of it, and you can do whatever you want with it. And money is the root of all evil. We've all been told told and taught that. Um, actually, God talks about that. And that was the whole reason why they crucified Jesus. Was because they, you know, he was saying all this about money and all this about other stuff. They didn't like it. The Romans didn't like it. And said, no, hey, you try to take our money away. You try to take this away, you know. We'll just kill you off. And then, uh, we'll finance, we'll keep financing and, and overruling the, the people. That's what they did. Yeah, America did it. They're still doing it across the other countries. That's, that's what war is all about. Oh, they got oil. You know, we can take that oil and, and sell it. Make more money and then sell it to other nations or whatever and make that, uh, what's that other dollar that they use over there? Um, oh, heck. I can't, surf the P, I think. Pet, Petro, Petro, Petro dollar, Petro, I think. They, they use that over there and, and, yeah, it's all crooked. And it all started from, I think, America. It might have started from the British. But it's like America's trying to be this one world government to, to tell how all other countries need to run their place. And then when they don't agree, then we go to war with them. And then we put somebody over there that works for us. To run it to the way we want it run, and they call it democracy. But is it? No. Why are you gonna do something bad and then call it good? That's something Lucifer used to do. He he'd slither his tongue and speak weird words and analogies or whatever and confuse us which is confusion our media is doing that every day confusion but uh, I'm just saying this is my 22 minutes 23 now of what I think about the Kenora Can virus Kenora however you pronounce it It's supposed to be a real thing from what Marfugel is saying. But it was man-made if you ask me. And no matter if they were cutting up different types of animals on one table and feeding their citizens these, these meats that they were purchasing. It's a man-made virus if you ask me. Because when we were born in this world, we were born. That's why your mom fed you her breast milk if she did was to give you that immunity that she has from viruses in this world or bacteria. And then our body fights it. Now, if you get infected with something that your mom gets infected with, that's a man-made virus. I mean, if you know your history, this has happened before. And that's why God wiped every everything off the earth, kind of reset the planet. It's because these, um, these, uh, I can't think of them, the giants. Oh, these, I'm wanting to say Nimrod, it ain't Nimrod. Nimrod was over in Babylon, um, uh, oh, I can't think of their names. It's kind of like goes off the same name, Serpent Inn, I think. But these giants, they was killing their, these people, taking these men's wives, and just doing all kinds of really bad, bad things. 
and they were um, eating their own kind or eating the people, and they they were just really bad people. Well, God wiped them off the earth, flooded the earth, wiped them all out. Well, supposedly wiped them all out, but some of them survived. They lived, and that's that, that gets further on down. That's another story for me to tell later. But uh, the Nephilim, that's what they're called, Nephilim. I knew I'd remember it. I mean, you can look it up, Nephilim. Just Google it. Yahoo it. Whatever. Uh, what's the other thing on... Uh, oh, Duck Go It, Go Duck It, whatever the heck. Duck Duck Go It. From uh, the tour whatever but y'all take care and love y'all be safe out there keep an open mind educate yourself a lot going around in this world a lot of crooked people too we all know that so why wouldn't our politicians be crooked why wouldn't our government be crooked if there ain't already crooked people out there why do you think there's a lot of bad people in jail hmm because they're crooked. Be safe. God bless. See ya.